2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use Super Resolution or the Enhanced Super Resolution feature that just popped with Adobe Photoshop 2021. And in particular, it works with Camera Raw. Now, I'll state up front here that, again, this is a Camera Raw feature, so you have to open the image using Camera Raw. And if you're not set up to do that, I'm going to show you very quickly how to do this. You want to go to your Preferences. It's under Photoshop Preferences. Uh, or if you're on a PC, it'll be under File, Preferences. Go to Preferences. Go to File Handling like this. And I'm going to try and do this quickly because I've got a video about this. Uh, Left-click on File Handling. Left-click on Camera Raw Preferences. And then down here, under File Handling again, they repeated themselves. You want to make sure that automatically open all supported JPEGs and HEIC. So that's how you make it so that... Camera Raw opens the image. All right, that out of the way, let's go. First step, click on the folder, and I've got a picture of the two princesses, and it's in low resolution. As you can tell, it's called Low Res 2. I'm going to drag and drop that into the um, Photoshop, and you're going to see here that I've got the Camera Raw opening, and that's what I want. So we've got it in Camera Raw. The next step, and this is the critical one, is you don't click on Done or Open. You have to right-click on the image, and this isn't very intuitive in my opinion, but it is what it is. Left click on the or right click on the image, and you're gonna get the option to enhance. Go ahead and left click on enhance. This now gives you the super resolution, and it says it doubles image resolution. Basically, it doubles the height and it doubles the width. So in fact, it's four times the size is what it does. It basically just expands it and then it uses its AI. So here we go. You'll see here it says Enhanced. Click and hold Preview Window to view without Enhanced. So when I hold this down, this is without Enhanced. I'm going to go up to like an I or something like that, or some T. Enhanced without Enhanced. Basically, it does a pretty good job. We're going to go to the I, yeah. Enhanced without Enhanced. There's a slight, it, it gets it a little bit sharper, a little bit better. You'll also see here that it says here Estimated Completion Time 5 Minutes. So this can take a little while, so when I click Enhance, and I'm going to go ahead and enhance it, you should see a little, yeah, a little timer here at the bottom going one remaining, and I assume that means one minute. And uh, let's just go ahead and let that run through. Um, there, there we go. Now we've got it. It was much quicker than I expected. So this is the original, and now this is the expanded version, and this is the enhanced version. It will show up as a DNG. It creates a brand new file. It's called lowres 2 enhanced onedng And if you were to click on that, I was going to click on my pictures folder. This is it right here. This is the new image. And theoretically, you could left click on that and open it. So anyways, I'm going to hit cancel on that. And that's how you do it, guys. Uh, yeah, let's open up the new, the new one. There we go. Let's go ahead and click on open. And this is the enhanced version. Uh, I won't go too far down the rabbit hole to show you the previous, the non-enhanced versus the enhanced. Just this is the technique. It works. The AI is quite strong, and it does add a pretty good effect to it. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.